Apple's been on a roll these days, and it's like Oprah's giving out M4 chips to everyone including the iPad Pro, iMac, Mac Mini, and MacBook Pro. Remember, the M4 chip is part of Apple's most advanced lineup of chips for personal computers. It's designed to highlight artificial intelligence, AI, and is up to 25% faster than the M3 chip. Here are some of the features of the M4 chip. Neural engine, capable of 38 tops. Power efficiency, more power efficient performance. Photo and video editing, up to 2.1x faster performance than the M1 chip when using complex filters and effects. The M4 Mac products became available in-store on November 8, 2024. And today we're hit with the new M4 MacBook Pros. Whew, I might need to see my doctor if this Apple-a-day trend keeps up. Laugh. All right, let's break it down. The new MacBook Pros, available in 14 and 16 inches, are mainly hardware refreshes. They're priced the same as their predecessors, but come in M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max flavors. The Pro and Max variants even upgrade their three Thunderbolt 4 ports to Thunderbolt 5. Nice! But hold on, the Mac Mini is where things get really interesting. This is its first major redesign since 2010, and it's shrunk by about 40% in volume. Apple reduced the footprint to 5 inches by 5 inches and increased its height to 2 inches. So it's smaller but taller. Sounds average to me. Laugh. This little powerhouse starts at just $599 but only comes in M4 and M4 Pro options. No M4 Max here. The M4 Pro model includes three Thunderbolt 5 ports. Apple even listened to the fans and moved two USB-C ports and a headphone jack to the front. Thanks, Apple. But in a classic Apple move, they put the power button on the bottom. Seriously? Laugh. You have to stick your finger in there. Pray for your local IT support. Now. In response to the outcry over the standard 8 GB of RAM, every new Mac this week comes with a base of 16 GB of RAM. This upgrade was also added to the M2 and M3 MacBook Air models. And here's a fun fact. The Mac Mini is Apple's first carbon-neutral Mac. They achieved this by, uh, planting a redwood for every purchase? Go green! Switching gears, Microsoft is accusing Google of running a shadow campaign to influence European regulators against Microsoft's Azure services. Microsoft claims Google is using the Open Cloud Coalition as a front. Google is a member of this coalition along with smaller cloud organizations. Microsoft thinks Google might have bribed these smaller providers to disguise its influence. Ooh, drama! Google's cloud services are the third largest globally, after Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. Alphabet, Google's parent company, saw a 34% spike in third quarter profit thanks to increased demand for cloud services. Generative AI training is gobbling up all available compute power. Laugh. And get this, over 25% of Google's new code is AI generated. Is this efficiency or the end of civilization as we know it? Laugh. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. See you next time.